Hey everybody, so today's video is going to be in empties. I do have a um, basket here. It's not completely full, but there are some things in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into it. Hope all of you had a really wonderful Thanksgiving. I did and it's Sunday night tonight. And so, you know, it's back to the grind tomorrow, back to normal schedules and everything, but it was nice to have like that extra time with family. Um, okay, so let's jump into it. The first thing I have here is from Vintage Chic. This is Gal Weathers, which is campfire, soft sandalwood, toasted marshmallows, and smoky vanilla. This was a beautiful vanilla, um, like, perfumey scent. I didn't get a ton of smokiness in this, but her sandalwood is just gorgeous. I melted this in my bedroom. I do find that when I confine my vintage chic to like one bedroom versus like putting it in an open space, I do get a lot better throw. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed that. Would pick that up again. From Rose Girls, I have Banana Espresso Nut Bread. This is another one of her coffee blends with her espresso beans, oil, banana bread, and pecans. Loved this one as well. I just really love Rose Girls Espresso Bean Oil. I think that I'm going to really enjoy that oil in her other blends. And I don't know, it might be becoming like my favorite coffee oil I don't find it to be too sweet and it doesn't really smell like a stale coffee and this was just the perfect blend of like banana bread and espresso beans so you know a delicious breakfast I have also from Rose Girls October's um, I have another um, bag of this but this is green apple mac apple lavender and oak I adore this scent. I do need to slow my row though because um, I did find myself melting it this time around that I started to get sick of it. And I think that I just kind of overwhelmed myself with it. I bought um, two mini melters bags and I melted those last year and then I had two more left. And so I have one more bag left and it's an absolutely beautiful scent. You get a touch of lavender, but the mac and the green apple together is so sweet that it offsets it. But there's also kind of this freshness from the green apple and you definitely get like a woody oak scent. So I just loved that. I would repurchase that, but I don't want to get burnt out on it. So, um, yeah, probably not soon. Another from Vintage Chic Scents, I have, um, I'll drop... I don't think it can focus because of the lights. It's really like throwing it off here. Um, but this is I'll Drop a House on You. It's Palo Santo Tobacco, tobacco Vanilla, and a Drizzle of Caramel. Absolutely enjoyed this. Um, it's a sweet Palo scent. I didn't get, so this was in her little uh, like medallion shapes. I wasn't getting that great of a throw. So what I did is I dumped like a whole pack in my candle crock and that's performing a lot better for me in the open space anyway. Um, when I go in my kitchen where my candle crock is, you know, um, I get a whiff of it and it just kind of creates an ambiance. So um, for me, Vintage Chic, um, it does well, but there's just like certain scents that do better than others. And it really is making me kind of apprehensive about like trying new scents. So I don't know. Another uh, coffee blend I really loved this time around is from Harper James Fireside Espresso, Espresso, Maple, Vanilla, um, and Mallow Fireside. This was so good. One thing I will say is when I melted this, I almost got a little bit of like a chocolate note and I don't know if maybe her espresso contains a little bit of chocolate or something, but this was just stunning. I really enjoyed it. It threw really, really well for me. Um, and it wasn't too sweet, so I would definitely repurchase that coffee blend. I melted through, what are these? Um, so I have Ghost Munch. I'm not going to be able to see that, but that's from Sugar and Spice. Um, I think that is like zucchini bread. Um, um, maybe candy corn, caramel apple, something. I love Ghost Munch. It's absolutely amazing. And the only reason I didn't hang on to it for next October, because it's like my, um, it's 
like my personal scent in October. The only reason I didn't hang on to it is because it's getting kind of old. That is from July 2021. So if I hang on to it um, through next year, it would be over two years old. And I'm really trying to not have things hanging around. I've even organized like my Christmas wax. Um, so like right now in my melting basket, I have things from 2020. Um, not a ton, but quite a few things from 2020. And then um, in my bedroom, I kind of have like a fireplace set up, one of those like standalone fireplaces, but it has shelving. So I have four baskets in there and I've just kind of arranged it by like quartering out the winter season so that I can grab for things that are older before I grab for things that are newer. Anyhow, um, really trying hard to not have things more than two years old in my collection. Um, and so, yeah, I went ahead and melted through that. I also melted through from Sugar and Spice Leaves, Marshmallow Fireside, and Vanilla Bead Noel. That is that one there. I really, really like this. I love her leaf scent. Um, yeah, I love Sugar and Spice. And once I get... My collection whittled down a little bit. I will be placing another order. I have another I'll Drop a House on You. Um, one of them I melted in pieces in different warmers. Found I wasn't getting the greatest throw. And so then I went ahead and melted um, the second the second um, package of that in my candle crop. From Rose Girls, I have Dutch Apple Pecan French Toast. This is warm Dutch apple pie, pecans, and French toast. I liked this. It wasn't a love. I mean, it definitely smells like what it says. But, you know, it's not something that was really stand out to me that I feel like I need to replace. Um, from Destination Wax, I have Applewood. This is... Not gonna do it. This is smoked cedarwood, red apples, pears, ginger, and honey. This is such a beautiful woody apple scent. I love this because it's much more woody than sweet. So, I mean, you get an apple, but it's not, like, too intense. Um, just a really good outdoorsy, cold weather scent, in my opinion. Then I melted from Dessa's Mad as a Hatter. This is from her Main Street Memories collection, and it is black chai tea, orange zest, orange and almond crumpets. This was pretty good. Um, not a super sweet scent. It definitely, you got the tea in this, and you definitely got the orange. So, I mean, it's a nice scent, but it's not something that I would repurchase. And I think my sister might have given me that, but um, that was a good one. What? Um, from Rose Girls, I have Pumpkin Bear Claws. Um, this was really good. Sorry if you guys can't see that. It's just not focusing, so I don't want to, like, just be, hate, like, letting it linger in the camera. Um, but this was such a good scent. I really, really enjoyed this. You got the pumpkin, you got the bear claw note. Pretty basic, but... To me, really impressive, and the throw was really good. I would pick that up again. From VCS, I got through Fiona, the Supreme Witch embeds with Sanderson Sisters Overpour. Um, this is from August 2021, and this has quite a long scent description. So it's cider cupcakes topped with cream cheese frosting, Granny Smith apples, and waffle cone pieces. Green apple, candy corn, caramel, and marshmallow. I do remember enjoying this, but um, there was nothing super standout about this. I do think that the green apple in this was really nice, though. So not one I need to pick up again, though. Um, also from BCS, I have sugar cookie dough, great pumpkin. This is pumpkin layer cake with cream cheese frosting and sugar cookie dough. Another good one. Just another kind of basic pumpkin scent. I liked it. Um, for me, all of my VCS in general has been throwing about a low to medium. Again, I'm not getting any like super uber amazing throw, um, but it does okay. Not not bad, and I did enjoy the scent. From Rainbow Melts, I melted through um, Zombie Juice, which is just honey pear cider. This is a really nice basic honey pear cider scent. Super strong, smelled really good. Um, again, with the amount of wax that I have, I'm just really starting to vet 
things that I want to bring back in that I've already tried. And while I did like this, you know, I like apple cider better. It's probably not one I would um, necessarily seek out again. I have morning cup of Christmas from Teddy Bees. I did go ahead and melt this because I was so in love with it um, in my haul. I did enjoy this, but I do have to say I like it better on cold. So when I warmed it, to me, it was much more fruity and I didn't get as much of the spice. Um, on cold, you get a lot of that kind of like chai spice in here. Um, it's still really pretty on cold and I would maybe get a souffle of it, but um, nothing more. From, um, this is from Case. This is a custom that Danny did that I um, ordered. Hopefully I can get it where you guys can see it. It's called Surprising, and this isn't going to focus. But Surprising is warm vanilla sugar, palo santo, and zucchini bread. Ugh, I'm not, you know, I have to be honest, I did not enjoy this. Um, I think for me, first of all, to me this smelled better in the bag than on warm. So I get the sweet, like, warm vanilla sugar and the palo really strongly in this. When I melted this, there wasn't really any sweetness to it. And, um, you know, I mean, it's warm vanilla sugar, palo, and zucchini bread. So it's not like I expected a ton of sweetness. Um, but I really just got a lot of zucchini bread. And to be perfectly honest, I never really... Um, honestly, I can't remember if I've tried Kay's zucchini bread before. But when melting this, to me, the zucchini bread was much more leaning towards that Frito scent. So I didn't enjoy it. I know that's a scent that um, she really liked. But yeah, I think it could work. But for me, I would have to up the warm vanilla sugar and palo and like lower the percentage of the zucchini bread. And then I think maybe I would have liked it better from Barrett's. I melted through Lori's blend, which I believe is his, this just isn't going to focus today. So we're just going to stop doing that. <laughs> Anyhow, this was his Snoozies blend, which I believe is like uh, lavender. Oh, what else is it? Lavender, vanilla, peppermint maybe. Um, and it's blended with, I think the Lori's blend is it blended with cotton candy if I'm not mistaken. This was amazing. I loved it. I actually am finding that I prefer his snoozy melts blended with other things versus on its own. Um, I did get a haul from him. I just received it on maybe like this past Wednesday or something. I haven't had a chance to film it yet. And I did get, I think a couple of snoozy blends and I do like the snoozy melts, but I just think that it does better and I prefer the scent better when it's blended with things. So I really did like um, the Lori's blend. From VCS, I have Firestarter Embeds and McBoo Overpour. This is Campfire Marshmallows, Bonfire Bliss, and Fireside. Um, Campfire Marshmallow, Gooey Marshmallow, Palo Santo, and Vanilla Frosted Grams. Um, this smelled good, but if you notice, a lot of the scent notes in this kind of overlap, so it's not like, um, yeah, it's not like I got any really strong scent one way or the other. Um, the palo in this was really strong though, and, um, I enjoyed it. Again, like a low to medium throw. I melted through a loaf of today is October 3rd. This is the Toasted Mallow Palo Santo and Sugar Cookie Royale. Love the scent. I picked up two more loaves, um, in her ready to ship. And Natalie from Melt with Nat and Jack was so kind to let me know in my comments um, that she was restocking this and I had no idea and this was my last loaf. So I did pick up two more loaves. So happy to have those. We'll forever have that scent as long as I can get it. Um, from VCS, I melted through King of the Forest, which is French toast, rich sugar cookies and butterscotch. To me, this was a pretty kind of basic bakery scent. It was very sweet though. Um, I liked it, but again, throw was just not that great and not something I would pick up again. Season of the Witch. Um, this is from L3. This is apples and leaves. Love the scent. This is a really great fall blend. You get the apple and the leaves, in my opinion, equally, and I really enjoyed it. 
All right, next up I have Cranberry Cookie Land. This is from Rose Girls, and I don't love her cranberry. Um, I have another cranberry blend. I think it's like cranberry and crackling birch or something. And I'm really curious to see how that does. I will say that the longer I let it linger in the warmer, the more of that bakery cookie land came out. But initially it was straight cranberry. And her cranberry for me, like I don't want a super tart cranberry, but I also don't want like a really sweet cranberry. And for me, um, that cranberry oil is just like a little bit too sweet. I did like it, but um, and it threw really well, but I wouldn't pick that up again. From Ava's, which is now um, Traverse City Wax. <sighs> Anyhow, this is a bakery bag of Monster Mash. This is Cider Lane Sugar Cookie and Zucchini. One of my all-time faves from Ava. I just absolutely adore her zucchini bread. It's so good. And that blended with her sugar cookie and Cider Lane. You can't go wrong. I have one more bag of that for next year. Um, she is also someone who I have a small haul from because she had a sell because she did some rebranding. So she's going to be completely rebranded. And um, yeah, so... Love that scent. Would totally repurchase from Brennan's. This is Casper. This is pumpkin pecan waffles, vanilla pumpkin marshmallow, apple cider donut, and vanilla bean Noel. This was really good. I, I really like that. I feel like Britta's pumpkin pecan waffles isn't quite as sweet as a lot of other ones. So I did enjoy that. Would repurchase from VCS. I have Deputy, Deputy Dewey which was sweet pumpkin, yellow cake, and zucchini bread. Now this is one I really enjoyed. Um, it was pretty strong too. This was poured in August of 2021. It was pretty strong, really good bakery scent, and I enjoyed um, the pumpkin, so I would pick that up again. Also from VCS, I have Headless Horseman Embeds with the Great Pumpkin Overpour, which is pumpkin cheesecake filling, ginger snap crust whipped cream, pumpkin layer cake with cream cheese frosting. Really enjoyed this one as well. Um, yeah, the pumpkin was really good. I love when cheesecake doesn't have a true cheesy smell, so I enjoyed that and would pick it up again. From VCS, I have Fire Mario. This is Marshmallow Fireside Donut Holes and Espresso Beans. Absolutely adored this. Her espresso beans is everything. Would totally repurchase any coffee blend she does with that espresso bean oil. I melted through a sample from L3 and Pumpkin Souffle, Mallow Fluff, and Caramel. I honestly don't remember that, so not even gonna try. And then I melted Mike Myers from L3. This is uh, cinnamon sugar cookies, caramel apples, and leaves. I think this was in one of my samplers. Really enjoyed this. Really good fall blend, and um, I would repurchase that scent. And then lastly, from Rose Girls. Let's see, last one. Are you going to focus? Nope. <laughs> this is Haunted Library, which is suede, rosewood, leather, old library books, and fireplace. Guys, I loved this scent so much. So it is very much kind of like a a spooky scent that's really the only way i can describe it you get a touch of floral um but it's not like super rose rosy um you get a little bit of leather you get the fireplace you get the old books it really reminds you of a haunted library it really evokes that in your mind and i thoroughly enjoyed this really unique blend and i would repurchase that and that is it. So that's everything I've melted through thus far. I have jumped wholeheartedly into my Christmas melting. Um, again, I'm kind of going through things that have um, 2020 on them and, you know, just trying to work through that. Um, I watch Alexis Schuliter. I think that's how you say it. And um, I am joining her in her... Hers is going to be a low buy, but I am doing a no buy for all of 2023. I have a lot of wax and a very small space and, um, yeah, I mean, it's going to be hard, but I went ahead and, um, is unjoined the right word? I don't know, <laughs> like unjoined all the groups I was in just because I am very, um, adamant about not wanting to purchase wax. I left all the D-Stash groups. Um, yeah, I have so much wax and every time I even, like now, every time I even look to consider something, I'm like, girl, 
you have too much. So I really am excited to see where I'm at by the end of 2023. I know that she's kind of doing like a collection video in parts. I think that I'm just going to do like a regular collection video and just kind of go around, show, show you where things are stored um, in my apartment and... Um, so you can kind of get a general idea of what we're working with here. <laughs> and then, yeah, just move on from there. I will still be doing videos and empties and maybe I'll do some chop and chats. I actually found a really great Christmas tag that I think I'm going to do as like a chop and chat. So um, I still plan on doing things on my channel, but hauls will not be one of them. I'm very adamant about trying to get through um, what I have kind of shopping my stash and, um, putting a big dent in this, hopefully a really big dent in this by the end of 2023. So yeah, now that I've said it, you guys can hold me accountable. <laughs> um, if you enjoyed this empties video, please go ahead and, um, hit the like button, subscribe if you want, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.